The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers Somebody calls the cops on Deacon and Sheila's romantic night at Il Giardino after hours. Deacon Chap is soon going to prepare a romantic dinner date for two. Sheila Carter is stuffed inside his home all day and night and she feels like she needs to breathe a little different air before she goes nuts completely. In the same way, Sheila too surprised Deacon just a while ago by buying a romantic dinner, so Deacon may think that he should repay Sheila for that kindness. Whatever the case, Sheila is going to get very surprised by Deacon's plan. Nonetheless, they will have a lot more to be surprised about if they are not careful enough. Deacon will plan this perfect date at Il Giardino after hours, and honestly it is very likely that someone comes back for something or, you know, someone notices some kind of noise and calls the cops on them. Deacon and Sheila have a lot to lose, and if they keep on getting involved in schemes like these, their days of freedom are numbered. You know, Deacon really had the upper hand. He was doing so much better with his life, but he decided that he'd take Sheila in for some cash and some bed hopping. So whatever comes to him now is what he deserves. Busted. Nonetheless, Deacon and Sheila may have cops behind them if someone rats them out. Yes, it may always be that their end is not here yet. I mean, Sheila still has to terrorize Steffi Forrester and her family, so I doubt she will go down this easy. So even if someone calls the cops on them, they may escape successfully. On the other hand, it can always be that Deacon and Sheila have a nice date. I mean, they do deserve some nice meals and nice things here and there now that they will be going to jail once caught. Sheila may be that main villain here, but Deacon's going in for a long time for harboring a fugitive. Whatever the case, we will get to see some romantic moments between Deacon and Sheila, while Brooke Logan's heart will be bleeding out due to Rich Forrester's annulment papers. Deacon really moved on pretty quick, huh? I think he said he was a one-woman man. Whatever the case, let us know what you think about the situation down in the comments section. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to check some of our other videos. And we hope to see you again in the next video.